Rapid Fire Excel by ExcelLevers.com. Paste Special. In this tutorial, we'll cover the Paste Special function and show you all of the crazy and amazing things it can do. This tutorial is especially important, as if you're an Excel user, you'll definitely be using Paste Special quite frequently. Whenever you copy and paste something in Excel, very often you only want to take pieces of it. For instance, if I've got this range here, and I copied it and pasted it on top of this range here, I would take all of the formatting, all of the contents, all of the formulas, etc. But what if I just wanted pieces of it? For instance, if I click on the cell right here, you'll see that this is actually a formula. It's the sum of the numbers 2, 3, and 4. What if I just wanted to paste the value 9 into this cell? Well, Paste Special allows you to do that. So first what you do is you copy, then you move to where you want to paste the, uh, the, uh, the range, and you, you find the Paste Special menu. In Excel 2007 and 2010, it's under the Home screen and then the drop down, and then at the bottom here, which opens up this. So these are all the different options in Paste Special. Now it asks you what you want to paste. So here I could paste everything, the formulas only, values, just the formatting, Comments, validation. You can more or less ignore comments and validation as you won't be using that frequency, frequently. And then there's some other things you can do here that are a little bit more advanced. Then under the operation tab, this is a way that you can actually multiply, add, subtract, divide ranges by a specific number really easily. Again, that's probably more advanced and you won't be using it that much. Then at the bottom here, there's the skip blanks and the transpose function. The skip blanks function you can pretty much ignore for now, but the transpose will come to be very important and we'll show you that in a bit. So, as I was saying, let's say I just wanted to copy the value 9 and the values of everything else. So, when I go to Paste Special, if I select the values and hit OK, let's see what it did. The first thing you'll notice as that is that none of the formatting came across. None of the color is here now. Then, if you click on the cell, you'll notice that it's just the number 9. Excel copy and pasted just the values. Now, let's say I just wanted to copy over the formatting. Let me take it back to where it was. Again, I copy here click on the paste menu, hit paste special, then I just want the formatting. Then I click for, I can go ahead and click formats. I hit OK. Oops, I forgot to select the range where I wanted to paste first. Again, go to paste special, hit formats, hit OK, and you'll notice that just the formatting changed on here. So you can see how this is starting to be very, very useful. This is a function that you'll use so frequently, it's helpful to learn the keyboard shortcut for it. In Excel 2007 and 2010, it's easy to pick this up. You can go ahead and hit Alt, and then the little keypad's open. I can hit H for Home, V for Pay Special, and S for Special, and it pops up the menu. So that's Alt, H, V, and then S. That's a really handy keyboard shortcut that you really should memorize. In Excel 2010, there's also a kind of handy dropdown where if you can't remember the shortcut, it's useful. You can actually, these are a lot of the different options of, pay special, of this pay special menu, and you can actually hover your mouse over them and see what it's going to look like and what's going to happen. So these are the different options for, options for values. And then over here, you can see the different options for things like formulas and borders, etc. So let's go ahead and show you a couple more quick examples. So right here, let's say you want to copy over this entire range here and paste it on top of here but you don't want to copy any of the borders. You like everything else, but you just don't like the borders. So then you can go ahead and open up the Paste Special menu. I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Alt, H, V, S, and select all except borders. Once you hit OK, you'll see that it brought over the formatting and everything else, but it didn't copy the borders. You can see how that's getting powerful. So let's say I've got this in columns now, and I wanted to put all of these cells in rows going across the screen. The paste special function can also do that. I'll go ahead and hit copy. Then I can click a cell, go to the paste special menu, click the transpose button. This little click here. Hit OK. And you'll notice that all of the cells here are now in the same row here going across the top. That's very useful when you have arrays of numbers and you need to reorient them. The pay special function, again, is critical to master in Excel, and we definitely suggest you spend some time with it. The two most common ones you'll use are paste as values and paste as formatting, which are the ones we showed you originally, but there's a lot more power to it. So definitely get in it and play. Thank you, and again, in the comments, let us know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like us to cover.